99X, it's Barnes and Leslie. We are broadcasting from France. Fram is headed home, though. She'll be uh, traveling on Thursday back to the great... Has it been weird for you to be gone from your job for this long? I've never been gone for two weeks, When ever. I say her job, her, her quote, real job. Yes, first time. Two that, weeks. That's the first time you've been away that long? The very first time in all these years. But I feel you came over here. I needed to spend some quality time. It is quality time. It's been very fun having you and Lanny around. It's been a blast. Can't thank you enough. Lanny, the chef master. Dude even brought a chef jacket. He did, just so he could cook for you and Heather. He, for real, looks like he was hired. It's pretty <laughs> He had the pool set up with the cover of the whole thing. And uh, I want to bring Lanny in here. We need to discuss something. But first, mm-hmm. we're talking about trips. Let's get a listener somewhere. Oh, you're going to love this. The Morning X want to send you to St. Augustine. You can register for your chance to win a trip to St. John's County, St. Augustine. A three-day, two-night stay in Volano Beach. Dining certificates. How about the Rain Tree Restaurant, Columbia Restaurant. All sorts of very cool attractions as well. Uh, the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Maritime Museum. The Pirate, Mar- uh, the Pirate Museum and more. Just go to 99X.com for your chance to win. All right, let's bring Lanny in here. I'm nervous. Oh, yes. I don't know if I could go at it alone. I'm so shocked that I need you here for moral support. Oh, boy. We got a complaint. And I want to read you. Management brought this complaint to me at the end of the day (laughs) yesterday. And to say that I was shocked, and Leslie does not know yet about this because I wanted to, I thought it was... You know, she never gets in trouble. Is she getting spanked here? Well, quite possibly. And and you know what, Lanny? Where it hurts, and that's in the pocket. Ah, So let me, let me read the complaint to you. Uh, what did I do now? Dear 99X Management, I am writing to express my extreme displeasure and outrage regarding the recent behavior of one of your radio hosts. Uh-oh. Outrage. Leslie Fram on the Morning X show. What did I do? On Friday, at 8.40 a.m. approximately, Ms. Fram used the word penis on the air during a segment. What? This kind of language is utterly inappropriate for a public broadcast and demonstrates a severe lapse in judgment and professionalism. Now, this is a real complaint. Do you remember this offense? Uh, It must have been a quote from Celebrity Sleaze. Not a quote. As a longtime listener of 99X... We're going to go back to the segment because I'm going to pull it up on the computer here. I've come to expect a certain level of decorum and respect from your station's hosts. The use of such explicit language is not only unnecessary, but also highly offensive. It is particularly concerning given that your audience includes listeners of all ages. So you might want to cover your ears because I'm going to go back to that part of the show here. This kind of language sets a poor example and undermines the quality of your programming. I am appalled. That such an incident was allowed to occur on your station reflects poorly on your management. Uh, blah, 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 I'm going to move on. It's so long, honestly. I demand that immediate and appropriate action be taken to address this issue. Specifically, I expect a formal apology from Ms. Fram on the air, as well as assurances from the station that such language will not be used in future broadcasts. I see Leslie wheel spinning. When did I say this? Whoa. Additionally, I believe it would be prudent for your management team to review your content guidelines and provide further training to your hosts to prevent any recurrence of this nature. If this matter is not addressed promptly and satisfactorily, I will have no choice but to escalate my complaint to the Federal Communications Commission and other relevant regulatory bodies of all people. I would not expect this type of behavior from Leslie Fram. I look forward to your prompt response and immediate corrective actions. And this is from a listener. Did they send this to Beth Martinez? And she sent it to well, who? You or me? Or I guess they to... sent it to the main. Oh, no, it okay. went to the top management. Was she like seventy years old? Or I, something? I don't know, but I pulled up the clip. When when did wow. I say that? I'm going to play it for you. Okay. So I pulled it up. And because you're such a good student, I was trying to think, okay, well, maybe maybe this is Freud slipping in because I didn't catch it during the show. And this was during the Giuliani segment. We played a clip of Giuliani uh-huh. peeing during his arraignment. Mm-hmm. We did. And that was a Zoom call that was recorded. So let's go back 
to the audio. I did not hear it in real time. Well, the only thing I remember saying is that he was peeing live on Zoom. So if we're going to go Freud, let's listen. Okay. Let, let's okay. go back to Friday around 840. Okay. He was pretty respected back when he was the um, mayor of New York. Oh, absolutely loved. Did you live there when he was the mayor? Yes. And cleanest, pe- the cleanest time yeah. in New York ever and the safest. What has okay. happened to that dude? There it is right there. I said cleanest. No, you said penis. Listen. Hold on. Listen, I'm, I'm going to isolate it down to that. All right. And cleanest, pe- the cleanest time yeah. in New York. I, 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 I didn't catch it. Listen. And cleanest, pe- the cleanest time yeah. in New York. I heard myself trying to say cleanest. How do you get penis from I cleanest? Know. I have no idea. Wow. That was... <laughs> I'm shocked. Uh, okay, so, so I guess I don't remember saying that. But I said it, so <laughs> what am I supposed apparently. to do? Now, why okay, would someone I, write a five-paragraph complaint when it was obvi- obviously an accident, but Freud... Possibly. You're, I, I was, it was Giuliani so, um, peeing and you're thinking in your head... Is her name Beth? Penis. Is uh, it Beth? Beth Martinez. Beth, I apologize. Beth. I don't remember saying that. That was a mistake. Don't rob the apology by saying, but I don't remember. You have to just be authentic, Leslie. What have your no, upper I management don't. skills taught you? I do not remember saying it. And cleanest, pe- the cleanest time. <laughs> yeah. in the- Dear. Thanks. Dear. So you're just going to play it over and over and over again. You I know, pol- well, this will I be apologize, the- Beth. This, is, this isn't just an average listener, by the way. Oh, no, here comes Lanny. No. Uh-huh. Here comes Lanny. This is, this is somebody that, no. What should we do to her, Leslie? I mean, no, Lanny. I just said what, I... what listener says I'm going to contact the FCC? <laughs> oh, come on. Give me a break. The one who heard. The cleanest, yeah, right. the cleanest time yeah. in New York. So let the record show that for once, it's oh, Leslie Fram getting in trouble slapping. on this program. All right. Morning X ticket window is on the way. We've got the Dave Matthews Band. It's your chance to win tickets here in just a few minutes. This show is coming up next week and a little heads up next week we're going to have Atlantis tickets which is also this month that's going to be a big tour this is the morning x it is 99x with the troublemaker Leslie said penis again on 99x <laughs> Leslie said penis again on 99x the morning, the morning x. x with Barnes and Leslie